Hey guys, if you want to run NA10 for your automations, you have three options. Pay minimum $20 per month for NA10 Cloud, or struggle with complicated VPS setups, or do what I'm going to show you now. I'm going to walk you through the easiest way to self-host NA10. We're using Hostinger with EasyPanel. So this setup is super simple, but it's still very powerful, infinitely scalable and affordable. And you don't need to touch SSH keys or configure anything manually. And as a bonus, I'll show you how to install Evolution API for WhatsApp automation. And in the next video, we'll connect it to NA10. Let's dive in. So first we go to Hostinger. We have the link down below. And here you can see self-hosted NA10 and NA10 VPS. And guess what? We don't click there. So I go to my account or you create one if you don't have one. And here we are going to search for EasyPanel. Add new VPS with EasyPanel. So why do we choose this solution? Because here we are going to be able to install a lot of application. If you use just the NA10 install, then if we want more application, we have to do it uh, through the command line in the server. So it's much more complicated. So here uh, we create a password and next. Now this is free, we keep it. I recommend to uh, take the daily auto backups, but now for demo purpose, we just click next. Um, here we have these different server capacities. So for beginning, you can take the smallest one. I recommend this one, but if you are just beginning, you can take this one and then upgrade your uh, server if you need more capacity. So we click here. Uh, the best option is to take 24 months, but for demo purpose, we are going to take one month for $7.99. And we choose the payment method. Once it's paid, we need to set up our VPS. Now our VPS is installed and we go to VPS and manage. And here we can see what well, here we skip that and that we have easy panel installed so we go to manage panel and so here we have to create our account so let's do that okay and here we are on easy panel okay so here we can monitor everything which is super nice and now we want to install na10 so if we go to easy panel we create one project for example and in apps here i can install all the applications I want. So I go here to templates and I search for N8N. I click here and here I put latest. So in this way, we will always have the last version when we upgrade. Unless we want to test a beta version, then we come here and we change it. I will show you after how to do that. So we click on create, go to project and it's going to install everything. So we wait a minute and soon everything will be ready. So now it's ready and we click here and now we create our NA10 account. Okay, this is important because we can have patch features for free. Workflow history, advanced debugging, execution search and folders. And for that, we need to enter our email and send me a free license key. Okay, we are in NA10, but and we get our license. So we copy it or we click in activate license key. Now, when we want to update NA10, if we go to source, we can see that the Docker image is latest as I have shown before. So if we click to deploy, it will automatically um, upgrade to the latest version. But if we want a specific version, we change it here, we save and we deploy again. And then once we have tested the version and we want to go back to normal, we have latest. So we know we have always the latest version. Now we are going to make some adjustments to be able to install community, community nodes and this type of things. First, we can make our URL uh, friendlier than this. Okay. So we return to our VPS and we copy the IP address here. And then we go to our domain hosting. If we have a domain, so I use Namecheap. I go to the domain list and to 
my advanced DNS and here I need to create a, a record. Here I put, for example, test and here's a IP address and I record this. So now the URL will be test.cutzai.com. For mine, it's na10.cutzai.com, but this is for demo purposes and I return to easy panel. And here in easy panel, I go to domains and add domain and here, so uh, test.cutzai dot com um, and create and I see here that it's not right because here is port 5678 uh, and 8A0 so I edit and port okay he does it directly here and we save and here it's similar so now if we click here we should be good okay good so okay so now we have a friendly URL and we put it as primary. So now if we go to the overview, we can just click here and we get access to our N810 instance. Now let's see the environment variable. So we go to environment and here we have the webhook URL. So here, as we have changed your URL, make it more friendly to and let's have test.com. This is not mandatory, it's just to make things nicer. And now I also want to be able to install NPM packages, which are external functions that we can have in the code nodes. And I also want to be able to use community nodes. For that, I need these two variables. Node function allow external for the NPM packages, and here is to say, I want them to be all authorized and N810 community package allow tool usage through this is for the community package. So now we need to save and you see, we need to deploy again to make everything uh, ready. So we will need to wait a bit again while it's redeploying. Okay, and now we see everything is accessible here. Now, if I want to create a credential, so here I made common case. This is a new thing in NA10 and I type credential create in personal and I'm going to test sheets. So like that. So each time we have a OAuth application, we have this OAuth redirect URL and here you can see it's test.cutzai.com, which make things easier. That's why also I like to change uh, this URL in the webhook in the environment variables. And we good to go for NA10. I'm Alexandra Spalato, a full stack developer turned AI automation engineer, and I help businesses build automation systems that actually work. What is great about Hostinger is everything is really well explained. So here, if we go to manage, we can see everything. And if we go to backups and monitoring uh, we can see the service as a usage the snapshot and backup uh, security here we can uh, add a firewall we even have an api we have tutorials and now we can access to the terminal here and for example once a month is good to update our server so i am not a sysadmin so i'm going to ask cody what to do I want to upgrade my uh, server. How can I do this? Can you give me all the necessary commands, please? You can see it gives these commands. We can copy them and we can just go here to the terminal and execute them. So it makes things really, really easy for a very good price and for all the power that we need. So I really recommend using this and for yourself, but especially if you are running this for clients. By the way, if you want to learn more about advanced NA10 workflows, AI automation, and connect with other builders, join the AI Alchemist community. It's free right now. The link is in the description. And if you need help to save time and money by automating your business, book a free consulting call in the link below. Bonus time, let's install the Evolution API. So the Evolution API is an open source and free WhatsApp API that works with NA10. So it lets you build WhatsApp automation, send messages, receive messages, create chatbots, and without all the meta administrative uh, documents that you have to send. So for small and, and medium businesses, this is perfect.
let's dive in. So we go back to easy panel and here we go to plus templates and we search for evolution, evolution API, it's here. And here again, we put latest. This is um, true for any other applications that you want to install. And we create, go to project. Again, we have to wait it to be installed. It takes a moment. Okay, now it's ready. As you can see, it comes with its own database. And to access it, we click here on open. And as you can see, it seems like a bug, but it's not a bug because this is the right URL. So we can click, uh, come and click here, or we can just add manager and access to the manager here. And here we need the API key global. So to get it, we return to easy panel to environment. And here we have a lot of variables. We have to search for the API key, which is here and we copy it. We can also change it if we want. In this case, we save and deploy like always. So I copy this and I go back here. I have my API key and I log in. And now we are inside Evolution API. We can create an instance, but this will be the subject of my next video. So subscribe so you don't miss everything. So in the next video, I will show you how to use um, the Evolution API and create a WhatsApp automation in NA10. And I will do another video. We will recreate an agent that go with go high level and many things because this is a great, great usage for business. So stay tuned. Now, some tips about EasyPanel. On the dashboard, we can see uh, our CPU, our memory, our disk. And so if these numbers are too high or if your application is crashing, perhaps it's time to upgrade your server or to remove some application or to fix something. Uh, then in settings here, we can also have a custom domain with the same method uh, that we have done for NA10. And uh, we can have many more applications. So for example, here, if I click plus and templates, I have access to all the available open source application. And if they are not available, we can also go to custom and we can uh, create from GitHub or create um, Docker image. Anything that is open source can be installed here. So this is really great. So for example, here, one that I use a lot is NoCodeDB, which is like an open source version uh, like Airtable. So I use it a lot in my video. So I really recommend to install this one and use this one and whatever you want to install or test, you can do it here and it's open source. So that's it. You now have NA10 and Evolution API running on your own server for less than $10 a month. You own the infrastructure, you control the data, and you can build any automation you want. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to use the Evolution API with NA10. So stay tuned and subscribe. If you want to learn more about advanced NA10 workflows and connect with other builders, join the AI Alchemist community. It's free right now, no hype, just practical automation, link in the description. And if you need help implementing this for your business or you want me to build a custom automation system for you, book a free strategy call. We'll look at your workflows, find the bottlenecks and build something that actually works. Link below. If this video helped you out, please like, comment, subscribe. This will help me a lot. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.